Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about flash loans. Let's learn what they are and we'll give you an example of how you could use them to make profit. So in a nutshell, flash loans are basically a way to borrow an obscene amount of money, however much you want, millions, billions, whatever, and you can do all of this with no collateral required. That is the magic of flash loans that you don't need to provide any sort of collateral to borrow however much money you want. Uh, this is very unlike, you know, loans in the real world where you need to put up collateral or you need to put up your house or you need to put up your car or some sort of thing, uh, some sort of collateral to be able to borrow money in the first place. But flash loans are this new concept that only exist because of Web3 and because of blockchain and don't really have a good counterpart in the real world. So to understand how they work, we first need to understand atomicity and how transactions on blockchains, well, at least Ethereum-based, EVM-based blockchains, uh, what transaction atomicity means over there. So when you execute a transaction on Ethereum, you know, a single transaction can do multiple things. There can be multiple actions that are taken by the transaction. So for example, uh, when you call, let's say you're swapping something on Uniswap as an example. So, you know, you're swapping, let's say A to B, that requires multiple steps. So first of all, you know, you transfer um, A token to Uniswap, then secondly, it sends back B token to you. And this is overly simplified, but essentially this is an idea that, you know, a single transaction can have multiple steps involved along the way. Now, what atomicity means is that if one of these steps fails, okay, let's say you had enough tokens, you wanted to swap a certain amount of A for a certain amount of B, and you were able to transfer A, but then in step number two, the transaction failed. Maybe somebody else uh, was able to front run you, maybe somebody else swapped and bought all of B tokens and the contract no longer has enough B tokens to give you as you originally thought, um, and the transaction fails over here. So when a transaction fails, like midway through the sort of logic of that transaction, it rolls back. So it reverses back. It's like none of these things ever happened. You get back, you know, the A token. Well, you don't even get it back. It's like it never happened. It was never transferred out of your account. So atomicity basically means um, that it's this property of systems where things are atomic if they can only be in one of two states. Either everything happens, right? So either the whole transaction goes through and everything works out or nothing happens. There is no in-between state. There is no possibility that you were able to transfer A but you never got back your B token. So transactions on Ethereum are atomic. And this is what enables flash loans to exist. So obviously, you know, in a real life example, if you were to borrow a loan without any collateral, who's stopping you from running away with all the money, right? I mean, sure, the police will be after you and whatnot, but I mean, if you're able to get a billion dollars with no collateral, I'm sure you can find resources to try and protect you or at least extend your vacation, you know? How can it be that through a blockchain smart contract, you can borrow millions of dollars and without putting up any sort of collateral. So the for the example over here, I'm going to use Aave Flash Loans as an example. Aave is a lending protocol built on top of Ethereum, one of the most common sources of flash loan. So essentially the way Aave Flash Loans work, and this will relate back to the Atomicity example, is I'll, I'll walk you through an example, okay? So let's say, there is a user, this is you, okay? Then there is the Aave contract, and then there is some smart contract that you deployed, your custom smart contract. So essentially what happens is, you know, um, well, first of all, you deploy this contract and this contract is what can do whatever it wants with the money. So essentially what happens is, you know, you 
call this transaction to create a flash loan. And this is the initiation of the transaction. This all happens in a single transaction, by the way. It's just the different steps in that transaction that I'm showing you right now. So you create a flash loan, okay? Um, what happens is you call this function on your custom smart contract, okay? So your smart contract must have a function, um, something like, you know, create a flash loan. What it does, it goes back to Aave, okay? This is step number two. And it borrows um, millions, okay? It borrows as much money as it wants. Now, Aave will ask you no questions. And what Aave will do is Aave will um, transfer these millions of tokens. So it will transfer all tokens to custom and then it will call a function on your smart contract. And again, this is a function you must have implemented called execute operation. And you must have built this function in your smart contract as the developer of it. Execute operation basically tells it, look, hey, I've given you the money, you know, um, do whatever you want with it. And the logic for what you want to do with it basically lives in execute operation. You know, you use this, uh, you run some code in here, you do whatever to, you know, whatever you want to do with that money. And then after, at the end of this function, what you need to do is you need to send back, uh, send back your loan amount, plus you need to send back some premium. This is the interest you were charged. So let's say you borrowed $1 million to begin with, you know, you might be sending 1.1 mil back, right? Um, so why can't you run away with this money? Why do you have to send it back over here? Um, so the idea is that all of this happens in a single transaction, okay? You call a function to create a flash loan, you know, your contract requests Aave for $1 million. Aave sends you that $1 million. You do whatever you want with that $1 million, and then you're expected to pay back $1 million plus some interest, let's say $1.1 million back. Um, the reason you can't run away with this money is all of this, all of this happens in a single transaction. And what that means is, if you fail to pay back, you know, if you fail to pay back, then, you know, your transaction fails. You know, Aave checks for this. Aave expects that when Aave calls the execute operation function on your smart contract, it expects that by the end of it, you know, it will have its money back and it checks its own balance and it makes sure that it got back the money it lent out and, um, it got back some interest as well. So if you fail to pay back, the transaction fails. And because of atomicity that I described earlier, you know, if a transaction fails at some point, it all gets rolled back. It's like it never happened. You never got the money and you never did anything with it and nothing happened, you know. So the concept of atomicity and the concept of blockchains now here allows you to borrow as much money as you want do whatever you want with it, ideally make profit of some sort, and then pay back that loan within a single transaction, because if you're unable to do so, it's like it never happened in the first place, so you can't possibly run away with the money. And again, this has no real world counterpart, because real world doesn't have atomic transactions or things like that, you know, but in this case, this is a very, very unique sort of DeFi primitive that has come up in the last few years around just being able to borrow as much money as you want to do whatever you want with it. Now, let me give you an example of how you can use this and how others use it to make profit. Um, so let's consider an example where there is some token, um, let's say, uh, let's say the ETH token actually, and there are two exchanges. There are two decentralized exchanges, A and B, okay? And on A, ETH is trading for $900, and on B, ETH is trading for 
$1,000, you know? Typically, these big price gaps don't happen, but I'm using an exaggerated example, but there might be, you know, a couple dollars price difference or something like that. Um, so on these two exchanges, ETH token is trading at different prices. You as a user want to take advantage of this, right? You want to buy ETH from A, you know, buy ETH from A and then sell ETH on B and you end up with a hundred dollars profit for, you know, not a lot of work. The problem is you're broke, okay? <laughs> or you're not as rich as you want to be, you know? Uh, you don't have, you know, profiting a hundred dollars is good, but you want to profit more, you want to do more. And, you know, how do you get access to this sort of money to be able to execute this transaction? You want to have size, you want to do this with millions of dollars and earn, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands in the process. So for a case like this, you know, uh, you could use Aave flash loans. So the first part is you need to deploy a custom smart contract and, you know, this needs to, um, this needs to do a few things. So it needs to implement the create flash loan function, uh, which will request Aave for some sort of token, let's say, you're borrowing DAI, which is a stable coin. And then within your main function, which is execute operation, what you want to do is you want to do these two steps, you know, buy on A and then sell on B. And if you can do that, you will have profit. So you will be able to uh, pay back loan and also pay back interest and anything else that is left over is your profit. It's for you to keep, you know? So let's say you as the user, you write this contract and you deploy it. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start the transaction by requesting a flash loan, uh, request loan. And let's say you want to borrow $1 million in DAI, okay? $1 million DAI because it's a stable coin and you borrow $1 million and die, you go on to exchange A and you buy 1 million die worth of ETH, okay? And it's trading at $900, so you'll get a bunch of ETH and then you go to B and you sell all that ETH for die, okay? Um, and at this point, you know, um, you have profit, you have more than 1 million in DAI now at this point because you profited of the price difference, you profited of doing the arbitrage. Um, specifically, if ETH was trading at $900 and you had 1 million DAI, this would bring you to 1111 roughly ETH and then you sell 1111 ETH for $1,000 each and you end up with, you know, this much money. So a little over 1.1 million. Now at this point, you know, let's say Aave was charging a 1% interest rate on the DAI loan. Uh, you now have to pay back Aave 1 mil plus 1% interest, which comes out to, you know, 1,0,1,0,0,0. So from this, oh, another zero. So from this money, you know, you pay back this much amount back to Aave and where you have it, you get 1111000 minus 1010000, you know, and you end up with a lot of money in profit. You end up with $100,000 in profit that is completely for you to keep and you can transfer this money back to yourself and you just made $100,000 without putting anything up front. I mean, you could do this yourself if you had enough money, you know, you could do this arbitrage yourself and not have flash loans, but typically people use flash loans because they don't have this kind of size to make a sizable profit. And they can use flash loans as a way to make large amounts of profit, give away their interest, you know, and take that money and be rich. So, 
this is how flash loans work. If you want to dig deeper, if you want to actually start writing those contracts and see an example of how those contracts are written, head over to Learn Web 3. We have a lesson on Ave flash loans in the senior track, but I hope this mental model, this conceptual topic helps. If you enjoyed this, comment for more.